Hello besties and welcome back to another video on African history, perception and culture. In our previous video, we highlighted the meaning of rain in Africa and how it helped shape our indigenous knowledge systems. Well, today we are expanding a bit on that topic and we're going to take you way back to the most southern tip of the African continent in pursuit of the rain queens who inspired the character Storm in the popular Marvel comics. Throughout of world history, nowhere else could one find an exclusive monarch of female rulers where males are not allowed to inherit the throne than the Mujajis. The word Mujaji is a special title given to all the past and present reign queens and it literally means ruler of the day. In Southern Africa, spoken history and oral tradition has long reigned supreme. This does not come as a surprise either to know why so much of Southern African history is shrouded in folklore, legend, music, dance, and art. The story of the history and the creation of the Mojaji begins in the early 1600s, roughly 200 years ago. Although it is often indicated that there is not enough written accounts of this history, regardless the traditional nature of African indigenous knowledge shape what we know today. It is widely said that the rain queens of the Balobedu came to be due to some sort of promise involving rain making powers and an abominable act leading to the banishment of Dugudini from the kingdom of Menomotapa, which is known as the ancient kingdom of Great Zimbabwe. The Mujajis have a strong ancestry link to the Karanga people who existed in the area around this time. This only female line of rulers started with the first reign queen and there is actually an interesting story behind these sacred melanated royals. In one of the oral accounts it is said that Mugede, the paramount chief of the Karanga people, who was the last of the male bloodline, was supposedly instructed by his ancestors to plant a seed in Dugudini so as to gift her with the rain-making abilities. The thing is, when it rains, especially in Africa, there is an excellent opportunity for grazing. So it is not surprising that one of the most critical threats against the well-being of our people is failure to rain. With the rain-making abilities apparently in decline, Mugede was pressed and when the future of the kingdom was in limbo, it led to another story. And in this story, it mentions that a great sin was committed which involves some sort of saga where Mugere's son planted the seed in Dugudini instead. In an unfortunate twist of events, Dugudini was to blame and was subsequently banished from the kingdom. The shame she brought about to her people was so great to bear they actually wanted to take her life. That is how serious it was. In an hastily attempt to save her life, one thing led to the other 
she had to flee and travel further south into South Africa where she and a few of her trusted followers settled in the Molototi Valley of the Limpopo province which in present day is the Baloberu Kingdom. Here she created a village and built a royal empire. She later gave birth to Matelekwane Mojaji I. According to the Loredo custom, the Mujaji is expected to hand over the throne at the age of 60, where her rainmaking abilities are said to have waned. At that point, her eldest daughter or female from the royal bloodline will take over as the next rain queen. Every year in November, a ceremony is held at the royal palace of the Baloberu to summon the seasonal cycle of rain over which she will preside. As we speak today, the Balabedu Kingdom comprises of a community of around 150 villages with an estimated population of more than 1 million people. Mojajis are so sacred that they do not appear in public and when permitted to talk, they do so through the Royal Council. The first reign queen, Matelekwani Mojaji, ruled around 1800 to 1854 and was succeeded by her eldest daughter, Matalana Bomojaji. Initially, the reign queens lived in seclusion, but that changed with the second reign queen. Her public presence was greatly owed to the fact that the Western rule over South Africa at the time had tempered with the way her tradition and custom dictates she could rule. Masalana Bomojaji was not blessed with the fruit of the womb. Thus, when she descended, the title was bestowed upon her sister's daughter. Kesetoane Mojaji III was succeeded by her daughter Makoma Mojaji IV, who was succeeded by her daughter Makope Mojaji V. In the sad twist of event, Makope Mojaji V's daughter was supposed to succeed her but died two days before her mother. That meant that the fifth Mojaji's granddaughter, Makobo Mujaji, was next in line to the throne. She was crowned on her 25th birthday and it actually rained that day, supposedly a spontaneous occurrence, but sadly, two years later, she passed from a mysterious illness at the age of 27 making her the youngest in her lineage of rain queens and also the shortest time reign in the history of her lineage. As though this was not enough, her lifestyle came under heavy critique. It is reported that she adopted a modern lifestyle amongst others. This is believed to have displeased the ancestors leading to her demise. In a rather comprehensive narrative, it is believed that the curse was placed upon her bloodline which began with the second Mujaji, who was initially the first to grace the public eye due to the influence placed on the way she could rule. Equally, Mujaji the fourth and fifth reigned for a much shorter period of around 20 years each. There has not been a rain queen since 2005. This means that Makobo Mujaji's daughter, whom she had before her untimely passing, was next in line. Princess Matalanabo was just three months old when her mom dissented, and in 2018, a special ceremony was held during which she was legitimately declared to take over the throne. Princess Matalanabo, 
would be crowned Mojaji the seventh on the eve of her 18th birthday somewhere in 2023. Until then, her mother's brother, Prince Pampatla Bakoma, is the regent and protector of the throne. In 2010, the South African government officially restored the queenship and added the reign queen to their list of tribal monarchies recognized as legitimate tribal monarchs after it was stripped away from them and barely reduced to titles of chiefs during the pre-colonial period. When the time comes for her to reign, Princess Masalanabo will rule the same as the great Zulu kings, including the late His Majesty King Goodwill Zuelitini, sadly who descended last week. Our sincere commiserations and condolences to the bereaved. A popular South African artist, Shaw Majosi, embodied as a powerful character in the campaign which drew inspiration from the Rain Queens. I hope you enjoyed listening to this part. Let us know if you would like us to share more of these videos and we will do just that. You know, your wish is our command. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch more videos. See you in another time. Bye besties.